Alrighty boys, so SCP Roleplay just had their September mini update. This update includes quality of life changes, bug fixes, cosmetics, and more. In this video, I'll go over them, as well as some of the stuff I saw in the video, so let's get to it. So one of the things the game added was this new water bundle. Or is it the Oriental Bundle? I don't know. The one in my game is different than the video. But anyways, these bundles offer a skin, C4 and kill effects, a 096 bag, a 173 cage, and they also offer cosmetic depending on the bundle you have. Because according to this update page here, every player has a unique order of monthly bundles, so that's probably why mine is different from yours or maybe the video. Matter of fact, my alt account actually has these fire bundles, which includes these things here. But anyways, let's talk about these new Euclid class subscriptions. Now these subscriptions offer stuff such as these 2 times daily rewards, a name and rank gradient, and unlimited boombox access. Just keep in mind this thing does cost like in real life money, or like from what I can see it might cost in real life money. Me personally, I don't want to spend in real life money. But anyways, let's just hop into the game right now and show you guys some of the things. Alrighty boys, we are here in the September mini update. And just right off the bat, of course you have your roleplay button over here, but you also have these other uh, other game modes like this, right? I really like that they added some other game modes here, that's really good. But okay, yes, the biggest thing here, this water bundle. We have water sprouts, we have gentle waves, some oceanic stuff. Dude, I really want this one kill effect. Because bro, in their update video, right? But look at this kill effect right over here, you're gonna see it right now. Dude, does that just turn into like a ball of water? Like, dude, that kill effect's actually kind of big. It might be kind of distracting, right? Which, by the way, you can actually change that in the settings right over here with the kill effects. You can just disable them. It can be laggy, right? But, like, bro, for the people that didn't disable them, I really want this thing. And the good thing is I can actually buy them with credits, right? It does cause a pretty good amount of credits, but at least it's free. So let's just buy one of them right now. Bruh. And I got the SCP-173 cage. God damn it, bro. Okay, chat, we're gonna keep buying it until we get this one Hydrosphere kill effect, chat. We like to gamble, right? Give me this thing, please, come on. Really, Nick? Okay, um, gun skin, I think that's okay. <laughs> I'll be checking out both of these things very soon, don't worry. But let me check out this thing, please give me this, please. Yay. Let's go! Gambling equals good, chat, make sure you gamble. <laughs> We'll actually play right now and try to like put it on. We should probably spawn at the NTF so that we can actually recontain the SCP-173 or whatever. And okay, look at my P90 right now. It looks very plain and boring. You guys agree? Of course, we can make things a little bit better by adding a skin because, you know, skins makes you better. Uh, you guys know that. And okay, if I go down, it should be somewhere over here, right? Yes, gentle waves. And wait, now that I think about it, I can see the lava bundle, the galaxy bundle, and all these other bundles. Dude, there's a chef bundle with a pizza skin. But okay, let's equip this thing out, of course. Uh, I'm guessing it's just some, like, water skin that looks, uh, it reminds me of, like, maybe some ice or, like, something like that. I don't know. I think it looks okay. But anyway, let's go over to this kill effects, right? We want to get this one hydrosphere, right? Same with this cage. Let's try to put this oceanic cage on. I was actually trying to breach this guy out right now. Try to put on the cage. Hopefully it won't go rogue. But guys, I'm just doing this as an experiment, right? Yes, 173. Please come here. Oh, whoops. I totally forgot that was the thing. Dude, I gotta go the upgraded version of this guy. Two seconds later. See, this guy's free show. Yes, sir, please come inside. We gotta look at this SCP together so we have different blinking times. Let's do this thing. There we go. Now it's a cage. It looks kind of, uh, I, I think he's stuck over there, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> okay, obviously we're gonna be rogue at the moment, so let's actually just uh, pull out this thing like so. I think this skin actually looks pretty good on the UMP. But what matters is this one kill effect shot. We really want this one kill effect. You! There we go! I can technically hide behind this one kill effect here, dude. It's actually kind of big. I got him. That's a kill effect right there. Oh my goodness. Also, I might be dying soon. Um, yo! <laughs> Ooh, dude, there's so many people in this area. Let's just go up ahead, right? Where are they at, though? Where are they at, though? Get him. That's a kill effect. Oh, my goodness. I don't think anyone sees us. Open this door. Dude, there's a lag. Which, by the way, this lag's my internet's not actually the game lag. Oh, that guy just died. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Dude, just run here. We're getting out of this place. Click to destroy this wall. Quick. Quick. Click. And we're out of here, chat. Let's go. 
And like, dude, this one kill effect that UMP has, I actually like it a lot. Because basically just like a random big blue ball coming out the corpse of the player. I think it's actually really funny. This might be the best one. Alright, so let's talk about the other updates in the game. According to this one update page here, players who become SCP-087-2 are now teleported outside of SCP-087-2. Which by the way, I never knew there was such thing as like an SCP-087-2. So seeing this thing is pretty interesting. And I have to be honest, I don't really know what this means. They also added a new barrier here to SCP-096. It's really good to see this one barrier here, instead of this guy's face. As you can see, the game also had some pretty good bug fixes to it. But before we end this video, let's talk about the ending to the new update video. So it appears that we can see some sort of guy here, looking like an SCP-076. There's also this short part over here near the end of the video. It looks kinda glitchy, right? But I can imagine it be some sort of new containment, or maybe a new sector to the game. But anyways people, that's pretty much it for this whole update. If I miss anything, please let me know down below in the comments. If you guys enjoyed, please like. If you guys didn't, please dislike. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.